What up, y'all? This is boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. And this is a brand new series that we're doing. We're doing Abby Steiner versus man. Um, so basically, we'll be profiling um, a different athlete against Abby Steiner. Um, and we'll probably even do some other athletes outside of Abby Steiner against another athlete in the future as well. Um, but I want to see how well this series does first. So I'm going to test it out with Abby first. Uh, and uh, it's basically an idea I got from uh, my boy Indian Sports Media. By the way, subscribe to his channel. You can see the graphic on the screen. Definitely subscribe to Indian Sports Media. I'm going to start leaving his link uh, in my descriptions, uh, by the way. Uh, so you guys can just subscribe. Go into the description box and just subscribe to him from there. I much appreciate it if y'all show my man some support and love there. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to profile like a different athlete and I'll compare him against Abby Steiner. Um, one that I'm waiting on doing is Gina Luke Kemper. That's the one that's already been buzzing on his channel. That's where I got this idea from. I love the way he broke that video down and stuff like that. Um, and... A lot of this is going to just be my thoughts and stuff like that. I won't really break down the data uh, too much like he does. Um, he's probably going to be doing a lot of those videos as well. So you can always refer to his videos to get further stats about these athletes as well. If you want that type of breakdown, uh, that's why I'm suggesting that you uh, definitely go on ahead and uh, subscribe to his channel and, and, and watch his videos. Definitely watch that one. That was, a, that was the best video I've seen by any track content creator on YouTube ever was his Abby Steiner, Gina Luke and Kemper uh, videos is the best and it's doing very well for a reason because it was a very good video, <laughs> a very good video. I definitely highly recommend that one. But getting into this, so we're going to talk first about Abby Steiner against Gabby Thomas. This is one race that we've seen already at the pro level, but we haven't seen it, seen it, seen it. You know what I mean? Both ladies weren't fresh at the time when they did race and let's just say Gabrielle Thomas was hurt. <laughs> when she raced Abby Steiner back in June at Nationals um, in the 200 meter final. Um, actually, it was a semifinal too when she uh, raced her as well. And Gabby was like in the back of the pack and that definitely wouldn't have happened if she was healthier. Uh, she came in second place last week at the Diamond League and um, I made a video already saying where Abby would have placed uh, if she was in that race. I made that video so you guys can go to that video on my channel. I uploaded it like back on Monday or Tuesday this week. I mean. I think about Monday or Sunday, somewhere like that. Uh, but definitely earlier this week if you guys want to go check that video out. But this video is mainly about what I think is going to happen in the future between just these two. Now, I've already covered my concerns about Gabby, I mean, uh, Gabby Thomas going forward with that hamstring injury and if it's going to hamper her speed going forward. Now, I'm going to pull up... Uh, let me pull up her fastest times of all time. So this is, um, so we have her, you can see her team USA achievements. Uh, you can see what she did in the four by 100 relay, the 200 meters, uh, the four by 200 meter, uh, meter relay, which she was disqualified from at the world relays in 2019. But in 2021, her Olympic year, she got a 21.87 and came in third. And then she had a 41.45. And then we see what she's done in national competition. So the USA, TF, outdoor, and indoor championships. We can see what she's done here. And we can also see her Olympic trials from last year. 21.61, her fastest time in the 200. Uh, that was faster than Daphne Shippers, who had a 21.63. Um, so you can see how fast did Gabby Thomas can get. Obviously, she's not a 100 runner. I think Abby Steiner could be a better pro in the 100 than her, though. Uh, if she ever steps up to it now, Gabby Thomas was off to a really good start earlier in the season. Uh, she ran a 21.69 uh, with a win. Uh, it was wind assisted though, uh, plus 3.1 meters per second. Then she ran a, a 10 uh, 10.92 and 100 meters just 45 minutes earlier. So she had a good, uh, just a great event at the Texas uh, the Texas relays. Um, event back in March of earlier this year but ever since she's been kind of going downhill and I think it's because of the injury and this is why I'm a little bit worried about her in the future um, and what she's going to be able to do but 
uh, I wouldn't count her out though. Now she's also running a 400 in Jacksonville in 2021. She's ran a 51.15 as well. So Gabby Thomas is very well decorated Olympian. Abby Stein has a lot to catch up to just to even be where she's even been at in her career. I will say if Gabby Thomas ended her career today, she would have had a great career just to even make the Olympics and make a splash there like she did uh, at the Olympic Games. Um, coming in first at the you know Olympic trials as well last year, I would say she's had a pretty good career. But I am worried about her going forward. Now, you know, I don't need to really share Abby's best stuff, but we can. I mean, because I'm going to be doing it in a lot of these different videos. But just for your guys' references, you know, we'll we'll put it up on the screen anyway, just to make sure that you guys know where she's at. And so a lot of her stuff is from college, too. That's why I didn't really want to share too much of it. But you can see her personal records in every event. Um, and she's already got a pro mark with that 21.77 in the 200. Um, and everything else has come from college. 7.10 is 60 meters. And, and a lot of this was from this past season. So that's good that we have a recent... Um, recent measure with her so she's at a 7.10 in the 60 meters which is amazing a 22.09 in the 200 meter indoor and 300 meter indoor 35.8 probably won't be running any 300 meters on the pro level at least i don't think she will um and then the 200 the 21.77 and then we know the 10.90 that she got at the college nationals uh as well or the college world championships um and then we see what she's done at the World Championships. He's had a 22.26 on dead, basically dead legs. And then we already know about what she's done in the 4x100 and the 4x400 uh, meter relays, um, uh, relay uh, events as well. So she's accomplished a lot in her young career. Now, she hasn't really got her pro career, a uh, full pro career underway just yet. So it still remains to be seen what she does there. Um, what's interesting is if she does anything indoor wise as a pro this season, she's got a 22.09 as her all time record in the 200. So we're really more focused on the 200 between these two, not really the 100 or 400 right now. But in the 200, this is where things I think will get very, very interesting. Now, Gabby Thomas can definitely prove me wrong if her injury isn't really going to hamper her. She's going to be 26 on December the 7th. And I'm talking about Gabby Thomas, Abby Steiners. Uh, they're both, uh, I believe they're both Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken. Because uh, Abby Steiner is November 24. I'm pretty sure she's not a Scorpion. Because I think Scorpion is usually in around 21st, 22nd, somewhere up in there, I think. So I think she's a Sagittarius and Gabby Thomas says So they're the same um, Zodiac sign. So, uh, like I said, uh, Abby Steiner's uh, birthday is on November 24, which I believe is on a Thanksgiving this year as well so uh yeah because i think i heard that thanksgiving was on the 24th this year so um very interesting but that doesn't matter in this conversation but um so abby will be 23 gabby will be 26 so they're not too far apart from each other in age gabby is in really the prime of her career right now um and we'll see i think it's going to be a very interesting race between those two and i definitely want to see it on both we didn't get a chance to really see, even though Abby got that 21.77 at Nationals, her legs were not fresh. They were much fresher than they were at Worlds, but they were really starting to tire out at that point, which is why I kept on saying, I think Abby's time would have been a, below a 21.70. Uh, I think it would have been more like a 21.65, somewhere up in there to, to a 21.70, somewhere up in there, um, had her legs not been that tired. Because um, you could definitely see uh when she was running that race like some of the speed that you saw in some of her races from earlier in the college season it didn't look like it was there so you had to go back and look at her old film and we'll i had my film series we're going to go back and look at some of those races um at a later time and i will point out some of those deficiencies with her speed but when she has fresh relays next season we're going to see a very good and fast Abby Steiner as we believe that we've been seeing all this time. And then when it comes to Gabby Thomas, um, you know, I think that she'll be much faster next year. I mean, she'll be more healed up. 
But I, I am concerned about has she peaked already? Will she ever hit that 21.63 or best day ever in her career again? Uh, I've seen a lot of athletes, uh, a lot of sprinters not reach their highest marks, you know, even when they're like in the mid 20s. Like I've seen it happen a lot in this sport. I've been watching this sport for 30 years or well, close to 30 years. I've been watching since the 1996 Summer Olympics. And I can tell you right now, like I've seen a lot of run, uh, sprinters just not be the same. Whereas with Abby, it's been totally different. Her two serious injuries did not play her speed at all. Like, if you ask me, she got faster and faster. She's on the right trajectory because she will continue to get fast all the way going into the 20, 2028 Olympic season. She will continue to get fast. She's not even like, we saw that happen with Sharika Jackson, where Sharika Jackson is 28 right now. She got faster and faster and faster every year. And we will see that from Abby. That's why I say anything you see from Abby next year, it's not even going to be close to what um, her biggest speed will be. That's why I say next year she's going to easily break whatever record she sets next year. She will break some. Uh, she will break some of her own records. But the thing is, I think she will be faster than that. You know, um, is she fast enough to get FloJo? Who knows? I've said it. I've said it. I think she might be the one to do it. So we'll see about that. But uh, let's go over this. Um, let's go over this uh, this poll right here that I put up. And uh, I got a huge amount of votes, man. Salute to everybody who voted, man. Uh, this is exactly why I think I'm ready to definitely branch out and, and make a new track and field channel because you guys are giving me so much support over here man 306 votes man and they are in and uh i said who will come out on top of the 200 meter diamond league final for this past thursday 71 percent voted abby steiner it was like 74 percent at one point and that was with over 200 votes in so uh it stayed consistently like right over 70 percent um Obviously, there's no deadline on this poll, so you guys can keep voting if you haven't already, if you're watching this video. I'm going to have more and more polls like this coming soon, so definitely uh, continue to uh, vote. And I'll share it with you on the channel, try to share these results on the channel, and uh, so you guys can actually see. So a lot of people believe in Abby Steiner, and, uh, and I think you guys will end up being right about this, so we'll see, man. But go ahead and get this video a like, man. Hit that like button for me. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. Uh, shout out real quick to uh, my donators on this channel. Y'all know I already told y'all about uh, uh, my, my, my donators on this channel recently. And... Um, I just want to shout out to them. DA Secret Cure for giving that $70 dono through the cash at uh, last week. And then David Coles actually uh, uh, put in another uh, donation uh, recently, man. Uh, it was a $5 donation from David Close. Salute you, brother. And so uh, I really appreciate the support those guys are giving. Wish we could, wish I could see more names up here, but it's okay, man. As long as y'all continue to like the video and all that good stuff and comment, uh, I appreciate y'all anyways. But uh, I definitely would like to see more donators. And like I told y'all, who's ever in the top three by a certain point next year, I will be giving something away uh, to anybody who's in the top three. So that still stands. So uh, whenever you guys can donate, please donate. And it doesn't even have to be that much, man. It could be whatever, and you'll be good. So, uh, also, uh, if you could donate to the cash app at dollar sign sack exchange. I got that on the screen right now. If you do not do it through the secret, uh, through the donation button below the video. So I really appreciate y'all. But, uh, yeah. So to wrap this video up, man, um, uh, those races are going to be so good next year, man. I think between her and Gabby Thomas, pretty sure we're going to see a lot of them in the 200 meters. We're going to see some Jenna Prandini. I'm going to be doing a video on that soon as well. Tamara Clark going to feature all the 200 meter runners that I can find. I'll even be doing a Kambunji again at some point. I would love to see that rematch between her and Kambunji. Shelly Ann, Frazier Price, that's a rematch. That's the all time rematch right there uh, that I got to see from Abby Steiner, man, because uh, definitely some good stuff right there. But 
salute to y'all, man. But uh, we still got that other film video coming too. I have to, uh, I have to put that one together too. And it was another video that if Abby was racing for Germany, that's another video I have to put up. The Gina Luca Kemper. So it's a lot of Abby Steiner content that's going to be coming out the rest of this month, y'all. So. Even if y'all don't see a lot of track videos coming out in between, now I'm going to kind of relax since it's the fall now. I got a lot of other duties with TV season coming up, so I got to do that stuff. Uh, but indoor season starts in December, so we're getting, we're kind of racing towards that day right there, man. So uh, we're definitely kind of getting there to that point where we're going to be. Uh, we really doing a lot, but we will continue to do these versus videos. This is the first one. I will be putting up some more. Y'all let me know who y'all want me to compare it to, too, man, because there's a lot of sprinters out there in the 100 to 200 to 400 that we can do. It doesn't have to just be Americans and Jamaicans, man. If y'all want to see me compare her to, shoot, you were supposed to let me know, man. I'll do it. I will do it. Uh, because I, I definitely want to I definitely am more interested in comparing her to the overseas runners because I think that there's she's going to be in a lot of races against those type of runners from overseas so it's going to be very interesting to see how she matches up against them as well so but uh I want to thank y'all for watching this video man uh it's a long one but uh I thank y'all for watching man after news delight